Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, as some of you may or may not know, Danny Lee's brother, Brandon Bills, the one that got into the altercation with the baby at the bowling alley, as we all seen go viral on the internet, he is now suing the baby. Yes, I said it. He is suing the baby. After all that crazy talk, he's going to do this when he see him. It's on site. Blah, blah, blah. This man is now suing. Now, this is a clear example, right, of when I tell y'all that the streets is it's done. And I ain't going to say that it's done. It's just that a lot of the guys, man, it, it just be all this stuff be just one big movie script. You know, um, all these guys that play gangster, play tough, when it really comes down to it, when you see these guys, when they got to go to jail or when they actually face with confrontation, not just these records that you hear. I'm not talking about these Instagram lives where guys are showing a bunch of guns. No, all that is just, it's just a, a, a myth. When I say a myth, it's just, it just is what it is. It's easy to do that. You can up a gun, you can up whatever you want to while you on IG Live. But one thing I can say, you can't fake is confrontation. And it has been proven here. So we're going to get into this whole story with Dan Lee's brother, a.k.a. Brandon Bills, suing the baby over their altercation at the bowling alley. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, it's lay here. So join one of the latest games on YouTube so you can stay updated with some of the realest content. Now, let's get straight into it. Now, before we get into it, man, make sure y'all go over there to the official Hookah Anonymous Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore and make sure y'all give us a follow over there, man. Um, we, we post things that we generally can't post on YouTube, you know, in reference to us being terminated or whatever. So it's a few uncensored things that we post there. So if you want to get into the vibe, just make sure you head over there and follow us now at Hookah Anonymous underscore. All right. Now, let's get into this article here, man. Once again, your boy Brandon Bills, the brother of Danny Lee. Um, As y'all know, at that altercation that happened with the baby and Danny Lee. That went viral of him pretty much recording her on live. She's acting like she don't want to leave his house. He calling her his side chick and blah, blah, blah. He really didn't want to have the baby. All that craziness, right? That happened. Then your boy, Brandon Bills, he decided he wanted to butt in for his sister as any brother would do to protect his sister. He butted in, um, threatening the baby, making all type of subliminals, saying he's going to do this and that when you see the baby, right? Now, it came a time where he said it's going to be on site. Whenever you see the baby, it's on site. Keep that in mind. So let's read this article here. Now it says here, Danny Lee's brother, Brandon Bills, is suing the rapper over their recent fight at a SoCal bowling alley. According to the lawsuit, Brandon claims he walked by the baby in the bowling alley when the baby suddenly attacked him, leaving him with severe injury and pain. Now, Brandon claims he didn't get the fight back and says the baby's assault resulted in physical and psychological damage, plus medical bills and sustained disability. Now, law enforcement says they're now investigating the baby for assault with a deadly weapon because Brandon was kicked in the head while on the ground. Now, I never even knew that was considered an assault with a deadly weapon. That's crazy. But... I guess you learn something new every day. So y'all that's watching this and y'all all y'all listening, whatever you're doing, just know that if you kick somebody in the head while they're on the ground and pretty much helpless, just know that you're looking at a assault with a deadly weapon. All right. Now it says here the baby already claimed that he acted out of self-defense and he has been banned from the bowling alley. Right. Now it says Danny Lee's brother is suing the baby for assault. Uh, battery, emotional distress, and negligence. Now, here's why I got a problem. Now, like I expressed in the video I covered on this previously, I did say it was a coward, a coward move by the baby's security for grabbing Brandon Bills, whatever his name is, for grabbing his hair. You know, um, holding him on the floor. It was like. It was a bunch of them. No, not really. It was like five of them for, you know, the baby, including his security. So for this man to still get up 
after y'all did all that proves that they didn't really do much to be honest with you and not to mention this big old security guard really sat there and pulled this man here so i say all i have to say this it was a coward move on their behalf however brandon bill right he's a clear example of when i always say that a lot of these things that you see on social media just be a big front um and these rappers they gotta be a little more a little more smarter they gotta move a little more militant when they sitting here and they reacting to whether it's fans whether it's fake ops whether it's paparazzi whether it's the media whatever it is you gotta be smart because these situations pop up every time Kanye West went through it a lot of the times when um, paparazzi would pop up and he'll just go crazy. It's like they knew that he was going crazy. He was going to go crazy if he seen them and they purposely popped up on this man and antagonized him every time, every chance that they got. So, you know, just to get a reaction, I always tell people when it comes to the social media world, this internet, podcast, whatever, at the end of the day, all publicity is good publicity, according to you know, whoever the narrator or whoever it is. Now, Brandon Bills, you said it was on site when you seen the baby. It's no reason you approach this man with a cup in your hand, looking all relaxed, wanting to talk. There's no talking. You know, at least where I come from, there's no talking. Once you make threats, you can't tell another person how to take it when they actually see you. So, um, that was my only thing, my my gripe with him. You know, um, as far as the whole situation, once again, um, we have seen in, the, in in previous times that the baby will get into altercations. However, a lot of times it's his security that does the dirty work. You know, so um, once again, it wasn't smart to approach the baby while he got his security. It wasn't smart to sit there and talk to this man after you said it was going to be on site. This is a couple things that Brandon Bills didn't do smart on his behalf, and then he wants to sue. I wouldn't be surprised if that if that came from his sister. <laughs> his sister saying, "You know what? You ain't got no wins. You got beat up. It's going uh, it's going viral. The only way you could get back is try to sue us on." But which wouldn't make sense because at the end of the day, yeah, that's her baby's father. So any money that come out of his pocket is potentially taken away from his child's you know mouth you know so to say so it is what it is y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments below man how do y'all feel about danny brother brandon bills saying that it's on site for the baby but when it actually came for it to be on site he didn't handle himself and then now he want to sue you know so let me know how y'all feel in the comments below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping, and I'm out.